Hi everyone. Ever wondered how small seeds give rise to big plants? Today we're going to look at the different parts of a seed along with their functions. Let's start with the outermost layer of the seed called the seed coat, which can be a variety of different colors. The main function of the seed coat is to protect the developing baby plant or the embryo. Next we have the little eye on the surface of the seed which is called the hilum. This is the point where the seed was originally attached to the plant, equivalent to a belly button in a human being. This opening allows the movement of water into the seed, allowing it to grow. Moving on to the inside of the seed, we have the endosperm which provides nourishment to the developing embryo. It can also provide physical protection by covering the developing baby plant. Next we look at the parts that actually form the embryo inside the seed starting with the cotyledons. These provide both nourishment and protection, similar to the endosperm. However, in many plants, the cotyledons form the first set of leaves and help the growing plant to create food by performing photosynthesis. The developing green structure is called the epicotyl, which over time develops into the plant's shoot system. The radical develops into the plant's root system. The area between the epicotyl and the radical is called the hypocotyl, which elongates to push the growing shoots outside the ground and serves a very important role in germination. I hope this helps you better understand the parts of a seed. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.